At least half of autistic and children on the spectrum struggle with sleep patterns. High anxiety, medication, or sleep apnea are often part of the issue. So Marty Salt has some good advice for parents. Night. Up to 16% of neurotypical children suffer from poor sleep, compared to 50% in kids with autism. The other is how these children process medications and hormones. Good afternoon, how are you doing? Different genes can affect how we either synthesize or make melatonin in the body or how we break it down. Anxiety, chronic insomnia, and middle of night awakenings are triggered for kids with no off switch. Anxiety versus over arousal can be really tricky, especially if your child has limited language and can't tell you what they're experiencing. And the idea is that you just can't turn your brain off. Rather than tackling problems at three in the morning, parents are advised to rewind. I even go backward to what's happening during the day because what's happening during the day is gonna feed into what happens at night. Before bed, set the stage with quiet and low light. Plus, if sleep apnea is the cause, CPAP masks are now much less claustrophobic. Even people with autism who have sensory sensitivities can tolerate it. And we all need our sleep. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. And doctors say this advice should also increase REM sleep. It's important for mental health, especially in those with autism who get 10% less REM restorative sleep than neurotypical kids. We'll be right back. Stay with us.